firecracker. I really like him, so I reckon they'll get over the line. All right, we have a big guest on the show tonight, and we're absolutely thrilled to welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the captain of the Gold Coast Suns, the one, the only, Gary Ablett. <laughs> I tell you, not only had your sons never defeated Frio, but you'd never won at Subiaco in seven attempts. So congratulations, your boys are flying. You must be in a very, very good mood, Gaz. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously it was a it was a fantastic win for our group. Um, you know, probably the, the toughest road trip, and and we've spoken about it all pre-season that for us to play finals football this year, we need to win away from home, and we're only two rounds in. There's still a long way to go, but uh, it was a fantastic win for our group. Uh, Gaz, Gaz, Billy here. Must be great to be out on the field, mate. And uh, this first, we'll have a look at you in the round one, where you just waltzed around BJ. Have a look at this, and then kicked a lovely goal. It must be great to be out in the ground. It is. It's uh, it's obviously been a uh, you know really tough 18 months for me. Um, been out with a lot of injuries, as everyone knows, and. You know, I spent, uh, spent a lot of time in the off-season just getting the body right so that, uh, you know, I could be back out there on the field with my teammates. Body's feeling great at the moment. Got two games under my belt now, and I'm hoping as the games roll on, um, you know, I can uh, continue to improve and, and uh, I guess, play my role for the team. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to play some finals footy this year. It's been five or six years now. I feel the group's ready for it. Um, we've started the season well, but there's still a long way to go, as I mentioned before. Hey Gaz, for your club to progress it couldn't be all about you, other people had to get their oars in the water and Jack Martin's a young man we've heard so much about but probably haven't seen anywhere near enough of but he was fantastic on the weekend. Yeah, um, Jack Martin, Tom Lynch, um, it, it was, as, as you mentioned, it was, it was a team effort on the weekend and we know for us, uh, you know, to, to play finals football we need every one of the 22 guys out there contributing and, and uh, that's... I don't think there was any real standouts on the weekend. I think, you know, the 22 players played their role um, and, and that's all we've spoken about this week is, is we need to bounce back. We've got another, another tough match against Carlton at home. Um, but we believe that, uh, you know, if we stick to the brand of football, we know we can play and, and everyone plays their role. We'll uh, hopefully get another win. Played uh, Fremantle last week, Gaz, and that five was unbelievable. Who is the best player in the comp, Gazza? Yeah, I think... <laughs> Uh, Nat Fife. Um, <laughs> uh, you didn't want to say that. Uh, no, no, no. He, without a doubt. You know, obviously, I was running around with him last week. Um, we got the win, but uh, he was fantastic for those guys. We, you know, we uh, we tried to stop him. We couldn't. Um, and you know, for Nat, he just he doesn't have any weaknesses. You know, he can win contest the ball. He wins the ball on the outside. He's so good in the air, and he kicks goals. And I think he ended up with 34 and three. And um, you know, we we put a lot of time in during the week uh, watching video on him. Working out how we can stop him, we couldn't. So um, I'm sure. I think he had a you know a bit of an injury interrupt the preseason, and I'm sure he's going to get better as the season rolls on. Now, Gary, uh, you didn't have a big preseason. Your dad made an art form of having no preseason. In fact, he didn't do any training at all. Uh, did he actually say to your son, "Settle down. It's a long season. Just ease into it." Because I didn't do much preseason either, and I was a star down at the <laughs> Now, do you honestly no, you're think, right, Sammy. Do you honestly think <laughs> that uh, we can actually train ourselves into staleness every now and again? I, I, th I think you can overtrain yourself. There's no doubt about that. I've always been about quality over quantity. And, um, but you're right, Sammy. I, I get a call from my dad, dad every now and then. He says, mate, I hope you're not training yourself too hard. Make sure you look after yourself. <laughs> Just uh, take the advice from me. Have a look at my career. And then uh, that's when he gets the highlight tapes out. But, um, <laughs> no, look, I... I I did have a good pre-season up until about three weeks out from the first NAB Cup game. Had some, uh, some foot issues, which was a little bit disappointing that I, uh, I couldn't play the pre-season games. But put a lot of work in, got the body right now, and, and I'm feeling good. Uh, I'll tell you what, Gaz, we're looking forward to this game. Gold Coast Suns take the, on the Carlton City Club. At Metropolitan, play very good football at Metropolitan to the Suns, who are flying. They're two from two. And uh, just one change there. Rosa comes in. Uh, Chi is out. He's got a cold. A two and take on the Carlton Footy Club. And make three changes. Buckley, Wiley, and Byrne come in. Out goes Everett injured. White has been omitted, and Lammy is also injured, so he is out. But they were very, very good last week, weren't they, Joey? With Lynch kicking five and Martin four. Yeah, they've been very impressive. Um, Aaron Hall, his football that he's played since midway through last year has been sensational, and um, I yeah. think they'll continue on and, and beat Carlton. Trav? Yeah, I'm going with the Suns as well. Um, the development of Big Lynchy up forward, kicking massive goals and obviously signing a new contract. It's a, it's a massive plus for the footy club and looking forward to seeing how they uh, 
achieved this year. And Bill, after this, they've got to the Q Clash at the Gabba. Yes. And then North Melbourne at home. So, so they've got a very nice start to the season, the Suns. Five and zip they'll be. That's uh, nice for them after uh, winning in uh, Serbia. What do you yeah. think is going to happen? Oh, here? I wouldn't okay. say playing North would be a good <laughs> no, game. No, no, what I'm saying is they've got three games at home now. Three games oh, in Queensland. Right, Jim. Yeah. Um, well, uh, you wouldn't see Carlton winning, mind you, after last week. Anything could happen, but we need Carlton just to show us that they actually can play a little bit before we start tipping them. So the Gold Coast would yeah. definitely win. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be Gold Coast for me too. Gaz, I want to ask you, we've been talking about the, the season, but I want to look at the pre-season. You had the happiest day of your life. You got married to the beautiful Jordan. Congratulations. Oh. We've got some vision here now. You're walking out the chapel. My word, you've done very well for yourself, Gaz. Look at you. Very, but I know I Gaz, have. I know Gaz, <laughs> I want to ask you, were you actually at the chapel on time? Because I know for Brownlows, time and time again, you've been late to the Brownlow, you've had the wrong pants, you've had someone else's pants, you don't know where your jacket is. Did everything go smoothly <laughs> on your wedding day? I know you too well. Everything went well. I was there on time. My dad wasn't actually. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he rocked up about half an hour late. So, um, but all went to plan. It was a, it was a fantastic day. And, um, yeah, married, married life now, so I'm really enjoying that. Jordan's made the move up, and, um, yeah, it's made, made things a little bit easier. Oh, no, we're very happy beautiful. for you. It's beautiful. Hey, Gaz, you're so good to us, mate. Every time we ask you to jump on a link, you're straight on. Good luck, as I said. It's been a very nice start for the Gold Coast Suns. You've got two games at home, or actually three games at home, so this could be the story of the season, uh, this uh, club just emerging. So good luck with all of that. Thanks for giving us some of your time. Thanks so much. No problem at all, Gaz. Thanks for having me.